Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for October 30th, read by Cindy L. from Fort Worth, Texas. AA Thoughts for the Day Principles Experience shows that few alcoholics will long stay away from a group just because they don't like the way it is run. Most return and adjust themselves to whatever conditions they must. Some go to a different group or form a new one. In other words, once an alcoholic fully realizes that he cannot get well alone, he will somehow find a way to get well and stay in the company of others. Bill W., letter 1943, as Bill sees it, page 312. Thought to consider. It isn't difficult to make a mountain out of a molehill. Just add a little dirt. Acronyms. ISM. I. Self. Me. Just for today. Grim Routine from Chapter 7 Make It Snappy. During this 17 year period, 1918 to 1935, Dr. Bob had worked out a grim routine that permitted him to drink and somehow still maintain his medical practice. Careful never to go near the hospital while he was drinking, he would stay sober until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It was really a horrible nightmare, this earning money, getting liquor, smuggling at home, getting drunk, morning jitters, taking large doses of sedatives to make it possible for me to earn more money, and so on ad nauseum, he wrote. I used to promise my wife, my friends, and my children that I would drink no more. Promises which seldom kept me sober through the day, though I was very sincere when I made them. Pass it on, page 140. Daily Reflections Live and Let Live Never since it began has Alcoholics Anonymous been divided by a major controversial issue. Nor has our fellowship ever publicly taken sides on any question in an embattled world. This, however, has been no earned virtue. It could almost be said that we were born with it. So long as we don't argue these matters privately, it's a cinch we never shall publicly. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 176. Do I remember that I have a right to my opinion, but that others don't have to share it? That's the spirit of live and let live. The serenity prayer reminds me, with God's help, to accept the things I cannot change. Am I still trying to change others? When it comes to courage to change the things I can, do I remember that my opinions are mine and yours are yours? Am I still afraid to be me? When it comes to wisdom to know the difference, do I remember that my opinions come from my experience? If I have a know-it-all attitude, aren't I being deliberately controversial? As Bill sees it, loving advisors. Had I not been blessed with wise and loving advisors, I might have cracked up long ago. A doctor once saved me from death by alcoholism because he obliged me to face up to the deadliness of that malady. Another doctor, a psychiatrist, later on helped me save my sanity because he led me to ferret out some of my deep lying defects. From a clergyman, I acquired the truthful principles by which we AAs now try to live. But these precious friends did far more than supply me with their professional skills. I learned that I could go to them with any problem whatever. Their wisdom and their integrity were mine for the asking. Many of my dearest AA friends have stood with me in exactly this same relation. Often, they could help where others could not, simply because they were AAs. Grapevine, August 1961. Big Book Quote The fact is that for most alcoholics, for reasons yet obscure, have lost the power of choice in drink. Our so-called willpower becomes practically non-existent. We are unable at certain times to bring into our consciousness with sufficient force the memory of the suffering and humiliation of even a week or a month ago. We are without defense against the first drink. Alcoholics Anonymous, There Is a Solution, page 24. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. I have real friends where I had none before. My drinking companions could hardly be called my real friends, though when drunk we seem to have the closest kind of friendship. 
The idea of friendship has changed. Friends are no longer people whom I can use for my own pleasure or profit. Friends are now people who understand me and I them, whom I can help and who can help me to live a better life. I have learned not to hold back and wait for friends to come to me, but to go halfway and to be met halfway, openly and freely. Does friendship have a new meaning for me? Meditation for the day. There is a time for everything. We should learn to wait patiently until the right time comes. Easy does it. We waste our energies in trying to get things before we are ready to have them, before we have earned the right to receive them. The great lesson we have to learn is how to wait with patience. We can believe that all of our life is a preparation for something better to come when we have earned the right to it. We can believe that God has a plan for our lives and that this plan will work out in the fullness of time. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may learn the lesson of waiting patiently. I pray that I may not expect things until I have earned the right to have them. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I am Cindy, and I am an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.